Hi, my name is Gordon Wu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to tell you 10 facts you did not know about Alice Paul. Cue the series music. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day. Quiet! Alice Paul was born on January 11, 1885 in Mount Laurel Township, New Jersey, in a house in Paulsdale, which is now known as the Alice Paul Institute. Alice Paul's religious background was Quakerism, which historians might have credited for Alice Paul's view on gender equality. Alice Paul was studying in England for educational degrees, and she met the Panker suffragettes that sparked Alice Paul's fight for women's suffrage, and the passion of militancy that accompanied it. Alice Paul returned to the U.S. in 1910 and joined the National American Women's Suffrage Association, an American organization that is for women's suffrage. In this organization, she organized the 1913 Women's Suffrage Procession. In this procession, many women and men all over the country march in this parade with floats and exhibits to display the support of women's suffrage. This parade was held the day before Woodrow Wilson's first presidential inauguration into all this, par this parade was held a day before Woodrow Wilson's first presidential inauguration into office. After her involvement in the National American Women Suffrage Association, she left and joined the Congressional Union for Women Suffrage, which she converted to the National Women's Party. Alice Paul gathered some women to protest as silent sentinels in front of the White House. They held up signs exposing Woodrow Wilson's hypocritical words and burned copies of President Wilson's speech. Fact 6. Alice Paul and the other silent sentinels were arrested for their crimes and were jailed. They started a hunger strike and were force fed as a result. Fact 7. After these actions, Woodrow Wilson was ashamed of what happened and included granting the right to vote as part of his war measures. The right to vote possessed as the 19th Amendment, which was ratified on August 18, 1920. Fact 8. Her work for social justice didn't end there. She drafted the Equal Rights Amendment, which would grant equality between the genders. Fact 9. The Equal Rights Amendment was there was less of ratification, and the ratification decline ended. Then in April, Nevada legislator passed the Equal Rights Amendment, reviving the ratification process of the ERA. Fact 10. Alice Paul's legacy lives on in the 2017 Women's March nationwide in the USA that protested for women's rights, and protested Donald Trump's inauguration into office.